Oh my goodness, why do I literally have so many things in my hands? Okay, it's fine. As you can tell, I'm filming this pre them fixing the bugs in Christmas Village, if they ever did fix it. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you my favorite horses from 2023. Most of these are breeds that were released in 2023, but some of these are horses I just purchased in 2023, or they're just my faves from 2023. I'm going to be showing you all of my favorite horses, my go-tos, my bays from 2023 let's get started i feel like a lot of you have been requesting me to do a video like this um i did a poll on my channel recently and a lot of you guys said you'd like to see more my horses stable tour related content so i'm going to be doing more videos like this in the future comment below if you want me to do a reading all of my horses video just so you can see all my horses i don't know let me know okay we'll start with the newest horse we have tux or tuxedo tux is level five he is the magical shire that was just released at the winter village update this year i am obsessed with this horse for a lot of reasons it was pretty much between this shire tux and my, my other gray shire adelaide i really like this shire the markings first of all are amazing he has like this beautiful black paint coat and like stripes in his mane which i love he has blue eyes and freckles around his eyes everything about tux is perfect including actually his magic coat i rarely like a horse for its magic and non-magical coat but in tux i really like both he's like a cream color which i thought was kind of unique and if you watch my channel you know i'm obsessed with black and white horses so i liked that this was a black and cream horse it almost kind of reminds me of oreo filling anyways tux is really cute please ignore all of the things in my hands i really wish that i didn't have to film this video like this but you know what we're, we're moving on we're pushing through and this is my mustang chia i named him chia because he looks like he has chia seeds all over his body if you follow me on instagram you know i did an instagram edit of chia actually i didn't do an edit i drew chia so me and chia spent a lot of time together while i drew him <laughs> fun fact um i'm obsessed with the mustangs they're one of the best breeds in sso right now the re-released mustangs they just have cute animations everything about them is adorable and this coat color i'm a sucker for again a black and white horse you'll probably see that repeated in this video over and over i tried i really tried to pick only one of each breed and pick my favorite coat of each breed but the belgian warmbloods have a special place in my heart i picked two belgian warmbloods guys i'm sorry and as you can see most of these horses are maxed some of them are not and it doesn't mean i don't love them it just means that i was saving training them for a special day honestly i'm weird like that i'll be like i don't want to train that horse because i like it too much and then it'll be over anyways this is sea squirrel or sesame my gray belgian warmblood the belgian warmbloods are one of my if not my favorite breed in sso i really always switch between tennessee walking horses and belgian warmbloods is my favorite i am a sucker for a good warmblood but these horses were just perfect they're just the exact build of a horse that i like anyways i like their sidle animations i specifically like this coat color it's such a well done gray i rode this horse for everything i think i rode it for ssocon i don't remember i think this was at one time my favorite horse in the game i named her sesame because she is white like a sesame seed so yeah okay we're on a warm blood streak this is my dutch warm blood anastasia i really was torn between picking lucifer or anastasia but because they haven't in sso come out with a good chestnut horse in a long time and this was the first chestnut i've really liked in the game for a long time i picked anastasia everything about anastasia is beautiful the dutch warm bloods were so well done you can literally see the veins in their faces the shading it looks like a real horse okay hazel is also maxed hazel is my dartmoor pony i really thought this coat color was very unique it's the same coat color as my i don't even remember what this coat oh it's a sealy bay i think it's the same coat color as my etb bunny it was one of my favorite coats before this horse came out i just love the Dartmoor ponies. I think they're so cute. I want to buy more. And maybe by the time this video is out, I already did. Hint, hint. They're just so cute when it's not to light. This horse has kind of a funny story. And this is my other Belgian warm blood that I'm including in this video, Kyoko. I feel like this horse is the horse that got me back into bays. When this horse first was released, it's the H&M All In horse. I didn't like it very much, honestly. I was like, you know what? I actually hate this horse. And then like the next day, I bought this horse because it's just so nice. 
like shiny. I love the marking on the forehead. And again, I love the Belgian Warmbloods. Everything is so nice about them. Okay, this horse is another winter recent purchase. This is Walter Hobbs, my magical Icelandic horse. I just love this horse, especially right now because it's winter. He has snow in his muzzle and all over him. And it's just like, it looks like little sparkles and this horse is so magical in the cutest possible way. I'm actually also really obsessed with the Icelandic horses, so I'm really glad they made a magical Icelandic horse. Honestly, I feel like this might be controversial because I feel like the Morgans didn't go over well with the SSO community. I like the Morgans. They're definitely not like my favorite breed in the game, but I liked them. For this coat, I wanted to include this horse in my video. This is a black Rabicano Morgan, and I am obsessed with this coat. It reminds me of the Arabian avocado horse which i'm also obsessed with and i didn't say this horse's name this is smoky smoky's eating hay off the floor right now i have a question why are there only like seven strands of hay on my horse's floor I, that seems uncomfortable to me this is my horse funfetti and you might be like rose why did you name this horse funfetti well if you weren't around this horse is the rainbow magical horse but I don't actually like this coat color. I like the non-magic coat color. Story of my life. I really like the non-magical coat color. I love a good dapple or paint or speckled. Any horse with speckles or spots of any kind is obviously my new favorite. The leg markings, can we just? And it's obviously one of my favorite breeds in game, which it's based off of the Appaloosas. So what's not to like? Okay, guys, I really debated. This is the horse that I almost put the gray Shire. This is the updated Shire that was released this year. This is Henrietta, my shiny bay. I think this is another Sealy Bay. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. You guys always do. But yeah, I I just love this coat is like the most glossy coat in SSO I swear. She's really beautiful. She looks even prettier with the braids. I'm obsessed with Henrietta. I bought this horse with CC also in a video. You should go watch it. It's still one of my favorite horse buying videos. I feel like this is going to be a controversial one. This is Chunky, my nab stripper. Hold up. I know you're about to click off this video right now and you're like, Rose, ew, bye. You know what? I like the nab strippers. I think that they still hold up. Sure, the head is too small and the feet are too big, but it's like still beautiful in its own way. <laughs> I really like this coat and this year, I think I bought this horse this year. I just fell in love with the nab strippers again this year. I mean, if you look, the details for the time they were released, the pink muzzle just gets me. I don't know. I don't know, guys. This was one of my favorites of 2023. This is Timothy. I can't remember when I bought this horse, but I recently just fell back in love with the fjords. I really like this horse. Um, I also like Sandwich, my other fjord, but of course, Timothy was my fave this year. I really like the gray and the white. I'm a really big of gray horses if you if you didn't know i'm like i'm really into grays i have quite a few old horses i guess in this video but this is my Jorvik pony and i am obsessed with this horse this is lucky um i just really i think i bought this horse kind of recently i can't remember like what year it might have been this year i just really like the contrast of the dark coat and the light mane it reminds me of old sso days starter horse vibes i always think the Jorvik ponies are really cute i'll never sell this horse okay this horse is called Aries. This is my Vera magical horse. It's based off the Pasofinos. I love the Pasofinos, so that's perfect. Um, I really like the non-magic coat color of this horse. I am not a huge fan of the magical coat of this horse. It's well done, but it kind of reminds me of the rhinestone phase when I was in like elementary school. <laughs> I don't know. It's not my thing. Aries is named after, I think I bought this horse in the other magical coat color, the purple one on my alt account, and I named them after like star signs. Anyways, I like the mane, how it's like a contrast with multiple gray tones, and then the mane has like a yellowy tint to it. I don't know why I like it, but I do. I also like the blaze marking on the face. This is Betty Crocker, my American pain horse. Betty Crocker, I mostly picked because I just love the name Betty Crocker and I love calling this horse. Like, Betty Crocker, get over here. Betty Crocker, stop sticking your tongue out like that. It's weird. I really liked the birthday horse this year, actually. I love the American pain horses and I really liked this coat. It's fun to have like a paint Palomino golden cute horse with braids. The American paint horses, they hit different. Okay, this is Kendall, my Tennessee walking horse. If you guys watch my channel, you know I'm obsessed with Belgian Warmbloods and Tennessee walking horses. You guys always ask me, what's your favorite horse? It's always one of these two. I'm obsessed. And right now, this is one of my favorite shades or coat colors of the Tennessees. I have so many faves, but this is the one I felt like I found myself making most 
most outfits with and riding the most this year, especially recently towards the end of the year. I really love the coat color. I think it's really unique. And this horse I bought because I saw someone else riding it. I think it was someone in my club and I was like, hey, first of all, what horse is that? And I like bought it literally like within 24 hours. If you guys don't know, I named all my Tennessee walking horses after the Kardashians. Don't ask me why. So this is Kendall Jenner. If you didn't already know, I, I do be like that. Oh, right. Okay, I'm glad that I included this horse also in my video because I was thinking of this coat color when I was talking about Kendall. This is Courtney, Courtney K, my other Kardashian, my other Tennessee walking horse. This coat color is incredible. I think, yeah, this is probably like hands down my favorite coat that was released in SSO. I think it was released last Christmas, but I'm still not over them, you know? I, I'm still obsessed. Courtney is honestly just a beautiful, Tennessee walking horses already like have a beautiful body structure and the coat colors were incredible like the face markings the shading it looks like a real horse pasted onto an SSO horse's body which I love this is Twyla this was one of the Halloween magical horses that was released this year in 2023 I am obsessed since I saw the promos with this non-magic coat I think it's based off the halflinger body I'm probably messing all of this up because I just you know it's 5 p.m. right now. I haven't eaten dinner. I say stuff and then I edit it later and I'm like, Rose, who the frick do you think you are? It reminds me of a starry night, a galaxy, a galaxy far, far away. Anyways, thanks for enjoying and checking out my favorite horses of 2023. Comment your, what was your favorite horse breed slash coat in 2023 in the comments of this video. I think this video will be posted around New Year's. So in that case, happy new year. Thanks for watching. Bye. Quiet.